Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today we're continuing the Apple TV series. If you missed any of the previous videos, there's a link in the description to the full playlist so you can take a look and learn pretty much everything you need to know about this Apple TV. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Siri and I'm going to be showing you pretty much everything you can use with Siri and how it works. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure Siri is all set up properly. So we're going to open up our settings application. We're going to navigate to general and we're going to scroll down to where it says Siri and you want to make sure Siri is on. If it's off, just click on the trackpad and it'll turn Siri on and off. Once Siri is on, go to the privacy tab, click on location services and you want to make sure that Siri is set to while using the app. If it's not, click on it. You can set it to while using the app. This is going to enable the location based Siri abilities. If you don't have this on, you won't be able to use those. So now that we've done that, we can actually start asking questions. And if at any point during any time that you're using your Apple TV and you want to open up a specific application, you can just use Siri to do so. Open Jetpack Joyride. And there you go. It opened up the game for me. So it works for applications. Now Siri is also great for grabbing information. For example, for me in the morning, I usually turn my Apple TV on while I'm making breakfast. As it's cooking, I'll ask random questions like, how's the weather today? And it'll pull up the weather. You can ask more in-depth questions while it's looking for the weather. How about the next few days? And it'll show you the next few days worth of weather. And you can get even more in-depth and say, when will the sun rise today? And it'll show you when the sun will rise. You can do the same with sun setting. And you can even ask it questions about weather for other areas. What's the weather like in Hawaii? And it'll pull that up for you as well. Now, for those of you who follow stocks, you can ask stock market questions. How's the Apple stock doing? And it'll show you the Apple stock. Now, for those of you who are into sports like me, you can ask Siri a whole bunch of different sports related questions. For example, when is the Super Bowl and who's playing? And it'll pull up the Super Bowl schedule, show you who's playing, and it'll tell you the time and day. If you want to get into more detail with things, you can ask it questions like, who won the Maple Leafs game yesterday? And it'll show you the Leaf game score as well as a brief description. You want to go even further with things, you can ask Siri standings. So what are the NHL standings right now? It'll pull up the standings. You can see who's leading in each division. And then if you just click, you can get a whole rundown of the standings and see where everybody's listed in each division. Now, if you want to find out more specific information on players, who's the leading goal scorer in the NHL? And it'll pull up the scoring leaders. Now, if you wanted to find out a specific player for a specific team, for example, who's the starting quarterback for Arizona? And it'll pull up the quarterbacks for the Cardinals. And if you wanted to find out information from the past, you can ask it a question like, who won the World Series in 1988? And it'll pull up the World Series with the score in 1988. So you can see it can pretty much answer any questions very similar to what a Google search would be like. Now let's take a look at using Siri with movies. So first off, let's say you're at home like me most of the time, you don't know what to watch. Let's see what Siri has to say. We'll ask Siri, what should I watch today? And Siri will pull up some selections sorted by rating, but you can narrow this down and sort it any way you'd like. You can say, narrow it to comedies or whatever. I'm just going to say only rated R movies. And it'll pull up only rated R movies. And you can do this with comedies, horror, whatever kind of genre you like. You can even say things like find kids movies. And you'll get a list of the kids movies. The same thing works for TV shows. Show me the office. and you'll get The Office, but you can go really in depth with this. For example, show me episode three of season nine of The Office. And it'll go right to it. You can see season nine, episode three. You can click on it and watch the TV show. Now, again, if you wanna watch specific shows that have specific actors or actresses that you really like, you can just say, show me Robert De Niro movies. And you'll get to see all of Robert De Niro's movies and you can go through them and watch them like that as well. 
Now, if you don't know the name of the specific movie or then the actual episode or whatever that you want to watch, you can ask Siri to sort of help you out. So for example, let's say you wanted to watch the final episode of a specific series and you didn't know how many episodes there were or how many seasons, you can just say, show me the final season of Mad Men. And there you go, it pulls up the final series of Mad Men. Now let's say you're watching a movie and you want to access other features or you missed something. You can just ask Siri. What did he just say? And it'll jump back 15 seconds so you can hear what was just said. If you want to jump back further, you can. You can say, go back eight minutes. And it'll take you back. If you want to access captions, you can do that too. Turn on captions. And there you go, the captions are on, and you can turn them off the same way, just simply turn off captions. And the captions are off. If you want to get information about the specific characters in the movie or about the movie, you can ask questions like, who directed this movie? And you'll get the director with a picture and it'll show you. You can ask more in-depth questions like, when did this movie come out? and it'll show you when it was released. That's actually my birthday. Anyway, you can ask other questions like who starred in the movie, play the movie from the beginning, fast forward five minutes. It's pretty endless. Just ask questions that you would like and see if Siri can do them for you. But these are some of them and some of the cool ones that I use. So that's pretty much it. That's how you use Siri with your Apple TV and some of the great features built in. Have fun, play around with it. If I've missed any that you have found, leave them in the comment box. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I respond to every comment that comes my way, and I'm definitely happy to help you out if you need it. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me for updates, and I'll see you guys in the next video.